Hi there. Today, I would like to share with you three key learning strategies that I have seen work and that I apply when I do live training, helping people prepare for CCBA and CBAP. So I hope you find value in these strategies in case you are also in the process of getting ready to go and sit your exam. So the very first strategy that I apply is mind maps. Now you might say, oh yeah, I know all about mind maps. But this is actually a bit different. In the classes that I run, we use not only mind maps in the kind of static or rather dry sense of the word, but we make the most of the visual aspect of mind maps by making sure that we use our visual capacity in our brains by using a lot of color, using a lot of pictures and challenging each other in the group on who can draw the most creative Babok mind map. Then we share this. Now, why do I do that? There is actually some science behind it. When you use all of those different creative faculties in your brain, whilst you are trying to study something as dry, maybe a little bit challenging as the Babok guide, it is, it's got maximum impact on your ability to retain information, remember information, and look back at that diagram. Because you have to actually think of different ways to express information. And in the process, you are understanding it and you're learning it or memorizing it. So it's a very effective technique. I've worked with lots of different people who have told me that they can't draw or they are not creative. We've turned them around during these training sessions and it's, they've been very successful in preparing for their exams. So that's one of my key strategies that we do as a fun way to learn the Babel Guide during these live sessions. The second strategy, of course, is to do real world simulations. You cannot remember or memorize the Babel Guide just point blank. You do need to be able to apply every single thing in the Babel Guide to a practical real world scenario. And that is exactly what we do. So we role play and use each other's experience to understand and explain different concepts in the context of real world examples. So it's a very interactive time. And I think if you've got some colleagues that you can potentially do this with, providing you can't join our group, it's a very good way to study the Babel Guide. And you do it knowledge area by knowledge area in the beginning until you are so good with understanding all the different knowledge areas that you're able to crisscross between the different knowledge areas with your examples and practical applications. So it's a lot of fun to do role play that way because you put yourself in a different, in a different context and you look at it all through a different perspective. So another great way to study the Babel Guide. And then the final way, which is my special technique that I apply when we work on the different mock exam questions. So there's nothing as good as looking at some potential mock exam questions to prepare our minds for what to expect when we start to really knuckle down and prepare for that exam. So I've developed a technique that I call the XYZ technique. It's a special recipe that I apply when we do our review of mock exams in our group. It's a special mastermind group. It's not your average training. It's definitely very interactive. And if you haven't looked at the program, have a look at the program. Otherwise, if you're in the middle of preparing for your CBAP, I hope these different techniques or strategies rather, is inspiring you for how you can potentially approach the big Babok guide, which can be quite a lot to consume. Otherwise, if you want to join, have a look at the description. I've got a link in there for this course that's coming up in the middle of July. Just be mindful that it's the last one for this year that I'll run. Um, I'm just very busy with all kinds of other things, but I really do enjoy running this once a year. But apart from that, good luck with your exam. I really do hope you achieve your CBAP very soon or your CCBA. And remember to always focus on that successful end result and you'll do really well.
So good luck. If you've got any questions for me, even if you're not able to join, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to share whatever I know with you. Thank you for listening. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like or subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.